HGTV in association with uh, Absolute Warehouse Services, joined by Jan Ziva after today's game at Liverpool. Jan, mm. a tough evening in the end results-wise, but give us your immediate thoughts and feelings after the final whistle. First of all, uh, it was hard for us mm. after the first minute and um, I have to back my players and I have to back Jan Stankovic because he's a, for me he's a, an outstanding character mm. and when he saw his game against Wolves he played an outstanding number six and I have to protect this player and at the end I also have to protect all of my players because it would have been easy for us to go uh, on the back foot directly but we were pressing, uh, we had, because of our pressing we had several moments and it was a good possibility for us even to, to um, give this game over and out. I know Spurs and Liverpool are two very different sides, but they are in the top part of the league table. You went with a very different plan than we did at Spurs today. Just explain what you think it was behind that. You know, this is my plan, and uh, the, the idea of attacking is uh, integrated in me, and obviously Jürgen Groove today in Liverpool with his idea that he uh, is fantastic playing, and they were both teams who were on the front foot, so big, big credit to both teams. Uh, um, and then you see it's about braveness, mm. and for me it's like when you saw how our uh, supporters reacted when we were on the front foot and won, the, won these balls high up in their field, and they had really problems, so this impressed me, and uh, I go on with this because I know that this will come to results. You obviously spoke about Jan Stankovic and the mistake for the first mm. goal. How frustrating is that for you as head coach? Because we talked about the concession against Watford yeah. uh, and it had some similarities so soon in the game against a team of Liverpool's quality. It kind of makes the plans very difficult, doesn't it? This is why I so feel so sorry for my players because they punish themselves mm. and this is the problem. So it's not even the opponent, it's us. Uh, and this is a thing which, which has to get out of their minds as quick as possible and I'm helping them. And, um, and the next season will be different. Having said all that, I thought the players reacted wonderfully after that goal because it must have been a real setback. But that next 15 minutes, we were on top. We saw the likes of Carl and Grant causing real problems for Liverpool. How proud are you about the way the players reacted? I'm really proud because, as I said, it would have been easy to go back and be, uh, put our helmets on, and uh, then also they can punish you because they're, you know, they're on top of the table. They're big, big quality, and we were really, at, we were really attacking. And this made me really proud because I, I saw so many elements which were good. And of course, after the result. Um, this is then hard to take uh, and I feel sorry for the players then and they, uh, but still I know that this will lead to results. You're right in saying that even at 3-0 at half time we didn't change the plan, we didn't no. shut up shop, you know, we still tried to be on yeah. the front foot. Do you think that style of play suits the players that you have at the disposal at the moment as opposed to trying to contain? Um, you know, I, I found a, um, a squad uh, which um, had a, we directly shared the idea. So for them, it was uh, also not easy to to um, how you say to um, how you say to to adopt to the style as quick as possible. Yeah. So excuse me, I'm <laughs> searching for the word. Yeah. And uh, then it's you know I saw it more more coming. And as we said, we, we we had really possibilities, and we will build a team where it really suits. So uh, it is a hard season and then it's ha hard to change the playing style also in it but they adopted to it and we find uh, those players who are the right ones and with whom we can continue. So sometimes even if the players execute the plan fairly well you come to a place like Anfield sometimes you just have to accept that the quality of the opponent deserves applause almost? Definitely, and there's a big, big credit to Jürgen and what he's doing here. It took him time to do this and uh, you know they, we all know that they could punish us but once more, um, when you th saw the elements, and for me as a manager I have to look at this, when you saw the elements which were in my game, and I saw how our supporters reacted when we were on the front foot and had the possibility to go forward, created more of the chances than they did in the first half. So this is then amazing for me, and um, yeah, this makes me, to be fair, also proud in this moment. Quick word on Aaron Moy, wasn't in the squad today, just explaining he has a slight hip issue yeah. with his hip. He has a real problem, so um, he wasn't even close to playing, so hopefully he's not that bad as we might think. So he, um, uh, he had a problem with, um, with a hip rotator, I think it's called, and we have a scan now, and uh, hopefully it's a good result at the end for Aaron, because of course it was a lose of quality then directly. So back to the training pitch now, it doesn't get any easier, Manchester United the next opponent for us, what, what's the plan between now and then? Just simply hard work on the training pitch? And be brave.